What's up everybody, it's Ralph with Pondscapes and we're at it again. We're gonna do a awesome 15 foot pondless waterfall in this brand new backyard. It's time to start making some noise. All right, that wasn't too loud, was it? It's only 6.45 in the morning. Let's go in the back and see what we're about to turn this backyard into. All right, we'd like to show you guys our access on these projects, and this is pretty good. One of the hurdles that we have is this paver driveway. We're gonna protect that with our sheets of plywood. Now, we were here the other day and dropped off the machines, so they're sitting back here waiting for us. Now, other than that paver driveway, we've got uh, really nothing to worry about. The beautiful uh, backyard under in progress, and uh, right over here is going to be our pondless waterfall. So we're gonna do a boulder retaining wall that is going to offset this wall. So we'll have a couple feet between our boulder retaining wall and the block wall, and that'll go in this angle and then our waterfall will kind of project and go this way. So now the homeowner is gonna have an awesome setting when this is all done. They've got the, in the makings is this beautiful pergola area. This is gonna be a huge fireplace, awesome barbecue grill, and we've got a spa over here. So that's gonna be a beautiful area to set a pondless waterfall in and have amazing viewing opportunities from this huge patio and this future sitting area here. All right guys, so we have got our layout laid out. So uh, what's gonna go on this back side over here? We're not building all the way up against the wall like we've done on other projects. We are uh, getting boulders staged. We're gonna use these uh, tall, big boulders to build out a retaining wall on this back section here and uh, you can see kind of where it's painted out and that will help create our elevation and also leave space on the back side for additional plantings to soften things up and that'll help with the uh, the depth of the feature give it more dimension when it's all done so uh, we're going to get those boulders moving and then uh, use some of this dirt from our excavation for our pump vault to back those boulders up and hold them in place. So here's the progress point that we're at now. We have got our aqua block configuration set up and our pump vault. So that pump vault is actually going to be camouflaged by some rock work and uh, pushed back and integrated into the feature so we can maintain as much usable space away from the feature as possible. Now we've already got our retaining wall of boulders set up. There's still a little bit more work to be done to, uh, to uh, add on to this, but this is going to help hold our foundation and gain us that elevation that we need. Uh, so we've got our spillway set up here, and what I envision is water coming out and turning and traversing back and forth and in and up this and appearing right over there. So what we've got going on now is 
We're putting a little bit of dirt behind our rock work here and uh, we got it wet, we process it around and right now Blake is just running the tracks back and forth over that elevated area to help settle and compact that dirt. That way when we flip that liner back over, build on top of that foundation, it's nice and tight. We don't have to worry about any settling. That compaction is extremely important to prevent settling. So that's why we're just uh, making sure that we get it as tight as we possibly can. <laughs> guys so we are making some good headway on this what we're doing right now is getting some of the edging worked out uh, we're pretty much wrapped up with this lower section other than adding in some accent boulders but what we wanted to do is gain some space to uh, work with the machine because we're gonna have to reach across the stream and set some other rocks so I want to be able to get as close as possible and it just mentally feels better to have an edge finished. And with a little movie magic, it's all done. So let's take a walk around this beautiful pondless waterfall and see what we came up with. All right, so what we've got here is a 15 foot long stream. Uh, this is appears to be more than 24 inches high, but when the foundation and everything gets done, uh, the overall elevation, it, uh, still, it's still going to be a little bit high, but that's all right. We wanted to make a big impact with this, and we definitely did. So now what's going on is the rest of the landscape has to be finished. We're actually following up right now. The electrician is here to hook up the power so we don't have extension cords running across the ground and they can enjoy this. All right, one of the things I really like about this is just the subtle little details the water coming over this spill and then like i mentioned before it hits that pooling area and is coming across that rock right there i just love that little subtle kind of cross section of water and uh, this little uh, drop right here the next one up has the same type of thing going on it has a cool little kick out of that water coming right over and across uh, kind of intersecting with that shear. Now one of my favorite parts of this drop here, we've got a nice clean shear of water coming over an irregular shaped boulder. So we're really pushing a lot of water to create that. But also we've got this little tributary stream, little back section coming through. Just a cool little detail that uh, kind of lends itself to a more natural setting. All right, now on the other side of the yard, you can see we've got these uh, boulder croppings just floating away from the, the stream. This area is going to get planted out, and this area over here is going to be uh, synthetic turf. And the idea is they're going to have that turf cut right up and around a lot of this rock work. So they're still not sure how this is going to finish out, but there's definitely going to be a travertine sidewalk right here, and it could be that that turf continues around right up to the edge of these rocks but they're going to figure that out as they get to it all right guys that's all we have for you on this one 